Hey, what's up everybody? So in last video, we discussed about um, collision resolution. So uh, like when in a hash table, a hash function returns the same index for the, uh, for two different keys. Okay. Um, so we used open addressing to resolve. So it, so it results in a, in a linked list. But if we want to, but if you want to use only the space which is available in the hash table, not something external, um, we use collision resolution to uh, solve the problem. So what happens is uh, we use probe numbers each time. Let's say for um, at the zeroth attempt, if if it returns k1, so let's say at at zeroth at zeroth attempt for input x, it returns uh, 51. Okay, and but if if but if an element is already present in in 51 but if an if but if there is an element which is already present at 51 it will probably uh, it, it then then it will do a second then then it will take a, another attempt right first attempt then it then it will return let's say 52 right so 52 then so if there is no if there is no element so so if so if at 52 there are no elements, then it will um, it then then it will place x at 52. So this was a typical collision. Re so this was a typical collision resolution which we discussed um, in the previous video. And now let's understand what is linear probing. So in linear probing, so so in linear probing we encounter an expression h of k i equals to h dash k i mod n right now please don't get intimidated by this expression it's a very simple expression um k is the input k is the input for which we want to k is the input for which we want to find the index and i is the probe probe number right and i can start from 0 1 2 and it can go all the way till m minus 1 right m minus 1 is the number of m m minus 1 m is the number of indices present in the hash table so it can start from 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way till m, uh, all the way till m minus 1. All right. So h dash k. So h now, so that is i. i starts from 0, go, go all the way. Uh, it can go to m minus 1 and k is the input. That is the key value for which we want to find the index. All right. Now, what's, now what is h dash k? Okay. h dash k can be a multiplicative function h dash k can be multi multiplicative or division function which we discussed in previous videos uh, that is k mod m or um, k a m into k a mod 1 right m into k a mod 1 okay it can be either of these and i is probe number okay h k can be multiplicative or division h dash k can be multiplicative or division function and um, i can be any probe and i is the probe number and mod m and m is of course the number of indices and m is of course the number of indices present in the hash table okay so let's say the h dash so let's say the value of h dash k is 16 okay so for let's say k 84 comma so let's say for function h84 comma 1 it will be 16 plus 1 mod and let's say the number of indices present in the hash table let's say m m is equal to um m is equals to 110 okay so the, that means there are 110 indices in hash table all right so mod 110 and 16 plus 1 17 mod 110 will give it will it will return 17 okay for h84 comma 2 um 16 plus 2 16 plus 2 um uh, mod 110 will return 18 mod 110 will return 18 okay like let's say if the first probe is not successful and there is already an element at index 17 right if there is already an element at index 17 so it's so it will so it will it will move on to the second pro and it will give it will return and it will return a different index so 18 18 and if there is no element at 18 it will place 84 there right so so this is 
So this is the key part of linear. So this is the key function of linear probing, right? And uh, if you, so this is a, a clear function of linear probing, right? If you um, 